Helene Kang from Capital Network is with me. Helene, good to speak to you. Good morning. Morning, Andrew. How are you? Very good, thanks, Helene. A reminder for Helene's full report. Click on the eye in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Helene, IQE, give us an introduction here. Tell us a bit about them. Sure. Um, IQE is a global supplier of advanced semiconductor wafers uh, that are used in the various applications, including mobile communications and industrial power. Uh, the company provides outsourced founder services for the wafer needs of the global supplier um, semiconductor chip suppliers. And the company's core business lies in the manufacturing of EPI wafers. So EPI layer defines a unique performance feature of the wafers that leads to the various uses of the semiconductor chips. The company has four business segments that cover diverse markets, such as mobile network, wireless communication, photonics, or um, light detecting applications. Tell me a little bit more about the growth potential here for IQE, Helene, and their uh, their IP portfolio. Um, sure. Um, I think the company is very interesting, uh, and, and the uh, the stock is worth the attention of the investors. Obviously, uh, firstly because of the uh, its growth potential. Uh, the company has the uh, wide range of addressable market as well. A global compound semiconductor market in general is expected to grow at five-year CAGR of 11% to $69 billion by 2022. And this is largely driven by the consumer electronics, including 5G technology and various LED adoptions that are propelled by the fast-growing Internet of Things. Um, IQE has secured a very unique and competitive position in the semiconductor supply chain as the epitaxy process is a critical part of value chain that requires higher level of expertise while the weight for outsourcing is increasing. And in terms of the unique IP portfolio, the company has more than 150 IPs via acquisitions and partnerships with research institutions, and also it is capable of providing bespoke R&D services to its, co to its customers. Um, the key competitive advantage of the company uh, I guess, lies in its know-how of scaling up or commercializing the new technologies. So, for example, the company's most recent major growth driver has been VIXEL, an advanced laser technology that is mass-produced by IQE for the first time. Last year, of course, was a, a good year for the share price. A little bit weaker of late, though. Well, what's the year ahead looking like for, for IQE, Helene? What can we expect from them? Um, well, I guess the um, the companies there has been a lot of market jitter regarding the stock, but the if you look at the the fundamental, I guess the companies deserve the uh, um, strong growth outlook in the in the in the for the part, for the for the next five years. Um, the company's growth has largely driven by the uh, product diversification as the um, end market for compound semiconductor expands with the new volume contracts. For Vixel technology, I uh, just mentioned before, the share price almost tripled last year. And the, um, however, um, looking at the uh, strong customer relationship the company has, and the constant uh, improvement of the uh, margin driven by the sales mix improvement, is a good, uh, is a good, uh, is a positive, and we expect such trend to continue. And obviously, the near-term driver should be the Vixel, as its applications can expand across the sensing, optical communications, and machine vision, etc. For Helene's full report, click on the eye in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Helene, thanks very much. Thank you.